How would you like to explore further details on expanding the recently published dynamic calendar template? One of my subscribers wanted to include week number on his calendar like this. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. The first thing I want to do is to introduce a brand new column just on column A itself like this. And this column will be dedicated to display the week number. I'm just going to make it a bit more customized here and I'm going to call it week number and bold and maybe do a border around it like this and change the background color on that cell so that it stands out a bit. I'm going to color something like this. Once that's done, now we're going to determine the week number for it. The way to do it is to basically build a date value using a date value function. Well, let, let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to say equal B5, which is going to give you 11 and concatenate that with a space followed by the month, which is easily available here and then concatenate and put a space and then concatenate with a year like this. And this will essentially give you a date itself. It's 11 May 2015 like this. Now we're going to convert this into a date format. The way to do it would be to use a function called date value like this. So if you encapsulate that text string or the date in the string with a date value like this, it will give you number of days since January 1st, 1900. Now this is in date format here. Now to determine what is the week number for that particular day, you're going to have to encapsulate the date value under a function called week num like that. And that will give you the week number for 11th of May, 2025. Now the rest of the cell above and below is quite simple. All you do have to do is say equal A5 plus one will give you 21. And on that row seven, you're gonna say A6 plus one. And row eight, we're gonna simply say A7 plus one. And then for cell A4, we're gonna say equal to A5 minus one. And then on row three, we're gonna say equal to A4 minus one. And you can see that it creates a weak number for it nicely there for you. Now, if you were to go ahead and make those changes, you can see that the week number changes accordingly. Let's do a test on January, make sure that it goes to one on that very first week. And even if you change the year, and if you jump to a different month, it is working. Job done, completed. 